welcome back to my channel as you can see i have a really cool upcycle today i think everyone has had these pine lockers at some point in their lives so why not bring them back to life into something more modern and chic let's get into it so here they were when i first got them i got them for 20 euro on facebook marketplace as you can see they're pretty banged up but they're perfect they're solid wood and definitely in need of a clean and a sand but other than that they look really good I really wanted these lockers to have drawers because I just think it's way more practical than any open shelving because I'm a very messy person. So first I just started cleaning them with sugar soap. Um, actually that's a lie. First I dusted them and then I cleaned them with sugar soap as you can see here. And just to mention that this was, this project was a part of a paid collaboration with Crown but I was not asked to do this video. So there you go. Do with that what you will. Anyway, I'm taking off the handles here and I made sure to wipe down all of the sugar soap, sugar soap residue and then I'm just going in with my orbital sander once it's all completely dried. As you can see, when they're sanded back, they look much nicer, much less yellowy. Um, but I don't know why I sanded them back entirely because I really didn't need to, but I thought maybe that I might be keeping some of the wood on the show. So I am at my dad's work when I'm doing this hence the new background here and I'm just removing the legs this took a surprisingly long time and I really should have done this at home before we got there but here we are so my dad's just getting ready the circular saw and the guide as you can see on the original lockers they have these overhanging parts on both the top and the bottom and I just want to get rid of them to make it more modern so we're using circular saw on the guide and we're just cutting off all of the whole overhanging bits both on the top and the bottom So this is them after that part is done. They look a lot more modern, I think, um, and just a clean slate. So next I took a router to route and sand the edges. So first I sanded the edges to make them straighter. As you can see, it's not perfect. And then used a router to get sort of a rounded edge and it just looked so much more finished. Um, I've never used a router before, but I'm converted. Love them so much. Um, this is my dad's. I think it's just from like Aldi or Little or something. So really impressed with that. Next up, I'm cutting down these paint stirrers for the herringbone pattern I'm gonna do on the drawer fronts. So as you can see, I cut off this little handle part here that you see. Um, and then I cut that in half again. So here's all of the little handles cut off and I use a chop saw for this. So here is my neat little pile of all of the paint sticks that have been cut down. I dry fit um, the herringbone pattern to decide which direction I was gonna go in. Just wanted to show you also my messy workstation, but look how many I've cut, so satisfying. And um, they're a little bit ragged around the edges, so I'll just give them all a quick sand before I glue them down. As I said, I decided to go in a different direction with the pattern um, rather than going from um, the top down, I decided to go from left to right. So I think this looks a lot better. So here I am sanding each stick individually. This actually didn't take very long at all. And then I'm going to draw a line so that I can put the tip of the arrow, I guess, <laughs> of the pattern. Um, on that line so that it's centered and this is going to be my center drawer of the lockers then I'm just applying wood glue I used way too much wood glue here and then I'm just going to put down my pattern all over and um, once you start it's it's a lot easier it's just hard to get going I guess to get the first ones in the right place because as long as they're in the right place then everything is so I clamped a piece of scrap wood on the top to stop them moving and this is how it turned out. As I said, I used way too much glue and I had to sand that off, but it still looks pretty good. So to continue the pattern onto the next drawer, because I wanted them to sort of continue and look a bit seamless, 
um, I just lined it up. I just put the drawer against the other drawer and lined it up and marked where a couple of the sticks would go and then just followed that. So this one won't be on the center, but that's okay because I wanted the center drawer to be centered and the other ones to follow that pattern. So you can see I had to use scraps just to get um, small areas filled, but they look pretty good. So as you can see here, I've cut back all the overhanging bits in this clip here's my dad helping me so let me show you how we got to this point so first of all i mixed these two um fillers and i applied that to all the little holes on the um sticks so here i've actually already cut them so sorry i'll talk about that in a sec um yeah so i filled it and then sanded it down with my orbital sander but as you can see um i cut it with my jigsaw and it's all wonkety so in order to sort of hide that i'm using um these like decorative molding i guess it is and gluing them down and then putting pin nails into them so here i am spreading the glue just with a piece of sandpaper it's the same wood glue from er earlier and i'm just popping that on they've been cut at a 45 degree angle i should say so they meet up at 90 degrees you can tell my dad's filming this because sue had to go out and also he filmed it the wrong way around Thanks, Dad. Anyway, there I am hammering it into place. Um, I sanded it a little bit because my cuts were a little bit wonky. I used the chop saw for this as well because it has like the function to change the angle or whatever. But you could just use like a normal miter box or whatever. So yeah, I'm just dry fitting it there to see that it's all working because obviously the last couple of pieces are most important. And it was, so I just went in with my glue and pin nail them in um i probably i don't know how many pin nails i use probably like four on the bottom or something maybe five and then like three on the sides if you hammer them in far enough then you can sort of put filler on and sand it back and it just sort of disguises the pin nails on the bottom of drawers doesn't really matter but you can see them obviously on the top and the sides so um it's nice to do that So here I'm just cleaning up any glue that got on the front of it because God knows I don't want to sand it again. And now the moment of truth, checking that they all fit. I should say my dad did some adjustments when we were cutting over the overhanging bits because I had done it and it was quite messy. And then my dad neatened it up and we gave some extra room so the molding would fit. So yeah, it looks really good. Now let's talk about the legs. So I got this idea from Girl and Drill, Girl and a Drill. Um, I'll link her Instagram below again and basically I just cut a piece of wood and made these legs and they look amazing and I used a pocket jig to make the holes to put it together. So I also wallpapered the drawers. I think this really adds a really nice finish to them and that's the varnish I used and yeah I think it looks really good. I should also say I use Mod Podge to stick down the wallpaper. I have a tutorial on how to cut the wallpaper to size. Also on my Instagram, I will link below. Okay, so next up I'm priming the outside of these because I'm actually going to paint them. I use Sensor Bin because this will like seal in all the knots from the pine. Otherwise, those knots will just seep through into your paint and look really ugly. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using a Two Fussy Blugs Roller, semi-smooth and it had already been sanded and all that jazz. So next up is the issue with the front of the drawers. So I really wanted them to have a raw wood finish, but as soon as I put the varnish on, it's going to darken them. So I decided to do a bit of a whitewash. So I just mixed a little bit of emulsion with some water. I'd give you a ratio, but I don't know what it was. I just eyed it. And then I applied it on the drawer fronts and the legs and then wiped it away. So then when I put the varnish on, it's not going to darken the color and it will stay sort of like a raw wood finish. So I just applied it with a brush and then wiped away with a rag straight away as soon as the whole area I was doing was done. Um, but you can leave it on longer if you wish. And I'm going to show you the before and after now, but basically I used this varnish after it. So on the left you can see it's not been whitewashed and on the right it has been. And then when you varnish it the right will go slightly darker. So here were my options for handles. 
I had bought the round ones and I did the same whitewashing technique but I preferred these ones and again I did the whitewashing technique and just to remind you of the before before I show you the after so this is the finished result the two look the same but I can't get a good photo of the other one so you'll have to just believe me I guess and um, but I'm super super happy with how they turned out I hope you like it and make sure to subscribe thanks guys Thank you.